Hello. In this video, I want to talk about modifications and their importance in the classroom and some of the specific modifications you can use in a band setting. So there are really four types of modifications, um, size, color, pacing, and modality. So number one is size. Size has to do with the size of the material you give to your students. Um, so like in an English class, size might have to do most with the size of the text, like the font size. Um, and this helps uh, students with eyesight issues, uh, students um, with dyslexia, they get their letters mixed up, this might help clear some of that up. Um, students with, um, if you're marking anything in the text, having larger text might make it easier for students with handwriting issues, uh, maybe due to muscular problems. Um, uh, so size is uh, uh, a, a great uh, a great thing to adjust to help students with those types of issues. In music class and in band class specifically, size might be used uh, to, to change the size of uh, the, the music. So usually music is printed on a regular size sheet of paper, but I learned recently this semester that there is a way to convert um, that regular size into like an 11 by 17 inch piece of paper so that the sheet of music is literally larger and you can also magnify the original copy uh, and make it say 115% or 120% to, to really enlarge it so that kids have no issue seeing um, and differentiating between the notes on the staff um, or in writing in, in uh, their music. Uh, for anything, any count structures that might be necessary, any dynamics that might be necessary, um, students really should have less of an issue with that when the size is, when the size is enlarged. The next one is color. Uh, color has to do uh, with differentiating different elements of something. So in band class, one of the things my class does quite often is project the sheet music onto the board so everybody can look at the music at the same time, and this teacher can uh, reference specific spots in the music. Um, so color can be used uh, to differentiate the different elements of the music. So you might use blue to mark up dynamics. You might use red to mark up meter changes. You might use black to write in the rhythms underneath a line of music. For example, one, two, three, and four, something like that. So we do that stuff a lot. Pacing has to do with how fast you move along in the curriculum. I think uh, in band class, unfortunately, is a lot, it, it is a lot harder to accomplish this, and it is much easier for students who struggle to blend in amongst their peers timbrally, um, because it is it does require a great amount of listening skills to hear when something is not quite right. Um, so, uh, in my school, we are lucky that to have um, uh, private group lessons every single day. So um, that really does open up a window of opportunity to move uh, different students along the book at a different pace. Um, because some students just need more time on pages one and two of the book, and some students are on uh, you know page 14 on day three. So it really does have to do with how how much the kids care about it, how interested they are in it, and their um, inherent learning needs and um, learning abilities and their ability to re retain information um, uh, and move along in course content quickly. So uh, pacing, I would say, um, if there's a student who's behind, still step still set high standards for them and expect them to practice every day, but understand that they that it's a lot harder for them than it is everyone else. And there's nothing wrong with moving a little bit slower in course content. Uh, the last one is modality. Uh, that has to do with kids with um, like hearing needs or eyesight needs so that would require like a change of location in the class so they can hear or see better. Um, so in music class, I would have if you have an eyesight issue, obviously the correct solution is to move you closer to the board and closer to the uh, conductor. And if you have hearing issues, one thing that really impacts a, per a student with hearing issues is whenever you're playing music, make sure it's turned up on full volume uh, 
to ensure that those students can hear it as well. Um, and that should go a long way in, in helping uh, students that need modifications. Thank you.